Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Swiss. Today's topic is going to be a, a new one. We are going to look at how to mint your first NFT. And I'm going to use OpenSea, the largest NFT marketplace to date, to show you how to do that. And you may wonder, like, why do we want to actually mint NFTs? And I believe there are a ton of different use cases why you potentially want to mint your own NFT. And uh, I think it's predominantly for content creators, especially artists, who are going to look for that. But in my particular case, I did mint an NFT of my own avatar image. In this case, you can just see it here in the background. I did mint this on the Polygon network. And I used OpenSea to do that. They have a great contract to mint NFTs. And I used it in combination with my Swissverse.eth Web3 domain. Uh, I will have a separate video on how to attach an NFT as a background picture to an ENS domain name like that. But I'm going to do this separately, not inside this video. So basically, if you do want to have an NFT attached to your ENS name, for example, you would have to have somewhere an NFT that you can refer to. And today I'm going to show you how to do that. So we are now on OpenSea.io, the marketplace. And if we hover over the round circle here and the more advanced users who already have an OpenSea account may already have something set up. This is a Virgin account. I just had to sign a transaction to confirm that I agree with the terms of service here on OpenSea. And now I'm going to go to create. And here you can actually set up your NFT. But before we do that, you will have to quickly go over and create a collection if you haven't created one yet. So let's do this just right now. I'm going to create a random collection, guys. I'm not going to put a whole lot of effort into it because I'm going to delete it afterwards. So I do include a logo image here now. I'm going to skip on the featured and banner image, but you should definitely uh, take advantage of all of this customization if you want to take this seriously. And then I will move on and just create a collection one you will probably want to name this something a little bit more meaningful but oh look it's already been taken so let me call it one x already been taken double x all right so we've got ourselves a name <laughs> and um, let's see it allows us to customize a uh, url well why not why don't we just you know call it collection dash one xx and i will skip on the description but definitely include one and i will add a category i will use let's just call it utility nft let's select virtual worlds i'm going to leave it at that i'm not going to include any of the metadata here i'm not going to include an address of where potential earnings will be wired to, although you could probably do that. That will be a great idea. Uh, and you could probably set something like a 5 to 10% royalty fee that you would receive if your stuff is traded on the secondary market again. But more importantly, I'm going to select Polygon as the chain where we are going to mint uh, NFTs because the transaction costs are just going to be significantly uh, less important. Okay, so the collection can be traded in these two currencies. I predominantly am interested in Matic. And let's see, I'm going to pick this one here because it allows to handle transparent background properly. But, uh, you know, maybe one of the two other options would be something more suitable for your use case. There is no sensitive content and I will create the collection now. Okay, let's see, let's wait a little bit. Okay, the collection, it says the collection has been created, but I'm getting that error message and let's quickly check. 
I go back to my collections and we seem to have some kind of error message here but now reloading the page has brought it back so here we go the collection 1xx is alive so now we can continue to the actual creation of the NFT so there are various file formats that we can use here to create an NFT. I'm just going to use a simple image for this basic example and once again I'm going to take something random here on a transparent background since we have chosen to optimize for that in the previous creation of the new collection. Let's just call it NFT1. We can include an external link where we may want to talk about this particular NFT. I do not have a particular website with a link for this example here, so I'm going to leave this empty. And we can just include description for the sake of this example, but as I mentioned, I'm going to delete this afterwards. And now we will actually have to select that collection that we created earlier. Great. And this is an interesting spot, like if you have a downloadable file that you would like to provide access to once you own the NFT, you could actually um, select this option here. You could provide some kind of access code or a link to a file. In this case, we do not use that. And some people may be interested in defining a little bit of metadata here, like uh, let's say item and call it let's say I don't know building and you can add more descriptive fields to this NFT so people can actually browse through a collection based on this criteria so you could include something like color and let's say white and if you have multiple NFTs that have the attribute white you could actually filter by that or with, by the attribute building let's say you can check out existing nft collections who have up to 20 of these different taxonomies attached to to their nfts let's save this for now now i've never used this particular stats option let's quickly read what this offers Stats show up underneath your item are clickable and can be filtered in your collection sidebar. Uh -huh. So basically this is probably mostly for gaming kind of assets where you would assign a, a statistic to your gaming asset. Let's say you create an NFT with a little unicorn and you would say speed is 3 out of 5. An interesting... Uh, interesting extra piece of data which I will probably not use going forward but here we go we have our two properties set up and I'm just going to scroll further down and look at the supply so you can create any number of NFTs I will create only one and I will once again select polygon network and one interesting thing is this particular metadata freeze which I believe is only possible once the collection has been created so for now let's create it but in the future if you would like to save all of this metadata and makes it make it fixed um, you will be having an option here to do so because you know certain people who buy maybe an NFT from you wouldn't want you to have the ability to change the content of that NFT like removing the download link for example or just things like that let's create the NFT now uh, oh there is a capture okay let's handle the capture real quick verify we're almost there guys we are almost there you created NFT one here we go guys the NFT has been created as you can see the featured image on the transparent background is properly handled here and we have description as defined in the description field we have the two properties which is awesome we do not have any content in here because we didn't define it and let's have a look 
yeah everything makes sense we have an nft created let's quickly move over to collection 1xx and just see how it looks like i think it looks awesome and i think this is the end of this quick tutorial guys thank you very much for watching if you enjoy this kind of stuff do subscribe to the channel i'm constantly creating little tutorials and guides on all sorts of topic in the area of technology blockchain nfts metaverse cryptoverse and so forth and so forth all right guys thank you and bye bye